Greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers. So in today's journey, we are going to be starting along the Iron Shore Main Road. We will be travelling along the North Coast. We are heading to the parish of St. Mary. We will also be slowing down the video for your viewing pleasure. Sit back, relax and drive with me. Now, people, on Friday, November 12th, 2021, at the end of that video, we told you that for the past 48 hours, there has been no reported case of murder in Western Jamaica. We told you that we were wishing that this continue for a while. That is the last time you are going to hear me saying anything like that on this channel. You know, sometimes we carry some stories. And some persons would come on and they are saying that why well, we are carrying pure sad stories. All kind of things. Let me tell you something. There are a lot of illegal guns in Jamaica. And until those illegal guns are taken off the streets, the mayhem, nah done for now. Anything else? That we are going to come on this channel or anywhere else and say or anything else anybody is going to say is wishful thinking. Over and over I've said this on this channel that we must face reality as it is, not as it was or how we wish it to be. When we start facing reality as it is, that is the time or that is the only way. We are going to be able to deal with our issues or our problems. Let's face reality. I said that on Friday. And yesterday, in one day, five persons were taken out in Westmoreland. Well, up to the time of us recording this video, it was confirmed that five persons were taken out in Westmoreland. All five persons were killed by the gun. Without wasting any more time, let us get into the stories. First up, we are learning that a man named Mr. Patrick Barrett is 38 years old. He's a painter and he lives at a place named Rejoin in the parish of Hanover. Mr. Barrett, he was killed in a traffic accident. This accident it took place on Friday, November 12, 2021, almost 10 p.m. It took place along the Archard Main Road in the Hopewell area in the parish of Hanover. Now, we are told that Mr. Patrick Barrett, he was driving a Toyota Corolla motor car. He was traveling from Montego Bay direction towards Sandy Bay. On reaching along the Archard Main Road in the vicinity of the Hopewell High School, our information is that Mr. Barrett, he failed to keep to his immediate left. As a result, he collided head-on in an Isuzu Elf motor truck. Mr. Patrick Barrett, he received multiple injuries. The driver for the truck was also injured. Both Mr. Patrick Barrett and the driver for the truck, they were taken to the Noel Holmes Hospital in Lucy, where Mr. Barrett he was pronounced D-E-A-D. -E the driver for the truck. We are told that he was also treated in hospital. And he was admitted but in stable condition. So it's likely that he will be okay. We are not sure what caused Mr. Patrick Barrett to lose control of the vehicle. Causing it to go onto the right side of the road. But Mr. Barrett is no longer here with us. We are told that he's a hard-working man. Condolences to his family and friends. Now, the mayhem continues. You remember yesterday we carried a story where a lady, she lived at Comfort Hall in the Antrobe Police area in the parish of St. James. We told you that her name was Miss Edna. She was 85 years old and her house was completely destroyed by fire by one of her relatives. Now, the name of that relative 
is Shane Scarlett. He's popularly known as Shamar. He's 23 years old and he also lives in the same comfort hall area in the parish of St. James. It is said that Shamar, he has been involved in a number of robberies and other atrocities in the comfort hall area. He was also involved in the robbery of a JDF soldier. The soldier was robbed of cash and other valuables. Shamar, it is said that he was a thorn in the flesh of persons living at Comfort Hall and surrounding areas in the parish of St. James. Here is what happened to Shamar and we are by no means endorsing what happened to him. But we are giving you the reality. We are telling you what took place. Yesterday evening, Saturday, November 13th, 2021, Shamar was spotted. He was spotted by some residents of the area. The residents, they were angry at what Shamar did to his 85-year-old relative. Yes, that house that he burnt down. They were also tired of him because, like I told you, he has been involved in a spate of robbery and other atrocities in the area. We are also told that early Saturday morning, the police had gone to the area searching for Shamar, but he eluded them. The residents, they told the police officers, Officer, we don't know worry on yourself. We are going to hold him. Shamar was spotted by some residents of the area. It is said that Shamar, he was armed with a machete. The residents, it is said, they tried to apprehend him and he attacked them with the machete. As a result, they overpowered Shamar and rained some chops and blows on him. Shamar ran off and fell in the nearby Ramble Pond. The police were called in and when the police came to the scene, Shamar was seen inside of the Ramble Pond. The police sought the assistance of the fire brigade. Personnel from the fire brigade came and assisted in taking out Shamar out of the pond. He had multiple chop wounds to his head and his upper body. Shamar, he was taken to the Cornwall Regional Hospital where he was pronounced D-E-A-D. -E the residents were tired of him. He was doing too much. So that is the end of Shamar. Now, this video it is brought to you by Arctic Enterprise. You see, when I come on this channel and I endorse an organization, no go, no come. They are the best. When you are talking about installation of cameras, when you are talking about getting value for your money, remember I tell you, look no further. Cameras nowadays are important. Ensure that you call arctic enterprise they will come and put on the camera system and you can stay anywhere in the world and view what is happening when you call arctic enterprise ensure that you tell them that papai from papai news links tell you to call listen this hello thanks for making it arctic enterprise for all your security surveillance and lighting needs Secure and protect your loved ones and investments. Call now for affordable packages at 876-294-0951. Get your system professionally installed, stay home, log on, live view, and watch your investments. Call now. Thanks for making it Arctic Enterprise. No, the next five stories that we are going to bring you are all in the parish of Westmoreland. In the first story, as we were about to start recording this video, we got some information. We were told that a man was shot and take note at Little Haiti in Negril in the parish of Westmoreland. At the time we were recording this video, we were told that the body of this man was still on the side of the road. We were also getting information that a house not belonging to this man was burnt down. It is said that that house was also shut up. So, it is possible that more than one people die in this incident. But, 
in a subsequent video. We are going to be getting the information and pass it on to you. But so far, in this incident, it is confirmed that one man was taken out. This man, we are told, his father's name is Bolby. His father scaled fish in the Negril market. We are told that the son, the one who was taken out, he also scales fish in the said Negril market. Yes, the Negril fish market. So, like we said, later on, or in a subsequent video, we are going to be updating this story. Now, Savlamar. Savlamar, Savlamar, Savlamar. Over the past, well, over the past number of years, there has been an ongoing war between some areas in Savlamar, an area named Desta Street and Darling Street. They are at war. When I go down Great Jardy Street and they turn right across that road in front of NCB, they turn to the right, you are going to be on a street named Ricketts Street. The fire station is on that street. As you pass the fire station, the community to the left is Desta Street. Now, between the fire station and the entrance of Desta Street, over the past few months, at least five persons, maybe more, has been taken out within that geographical area. Now, look and listen to this man on your screen. So brother, what you say? The plane on the land. This is the thing I'm going. Back more and get back and check again, is me? That or the other. No. That excerpt we just showed, it was taken from a music video. Well, the music video is that of a recording artist. His name is Akeem Bradbury. He was known as Paparazzi. He was 41 years old and He's an entertainer. He lives at a place named Dunbar's River in Savlamar in the parish of Westmoreland. Our information is that yesterday morning, Saturday, November 13, 2021, almost 8 o'clock in the morning, Paparazzi, he was driving his Toyota Vitz motor car. He was driving along Ricketts Street. Our information is that he was heading to check with somebody at Desta Street, whilst he was travelling along, it is said that paparazzi, he was confronted by a group of men. These men, they were armed with M16 rifles and 9mm pistols. The hoodlums opened gunfire at paparazzi. Paparazzi, he managed to jump out of the car and ran into a yard. As a result of this, the motor car, it crashed into a ditch. These hoodlums, they chased paparazzi into the yard where they caught up with him. They opened gunfire at him at point blank range, taking him out on the spot. Now, look at this lady on your screen. Yes, take a good look at this lady on your screen. That lady, her name is Andrika Smith. She was 30 years old. She lived at Ricketts Street in Savlamar in the parish of Westmoreland. Andrika, she had a physical disability. Andrika, she wore a pampas. She cannot harm nobody at all. When the hoodlums were coming out of the yard, Andrika was inside of her house. She lived in the same vicinity. These guys, the allegations are that they opened gunfire on the house in which Andrika lived. Andrika was hit in her buttocks. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape on foot in the area. The police were called and on the arrival of the police, paparazzi, he was found suffering from gunshot wounds to his head and his upper body. Andrika, who was inside of her house, she was found suffering from a gunshot wound to her buttocks. 
at the time Andrika was found by the police. She was wearing her pampas. Both Andrika and Paparazzi, they were taken to the Savlamar Hospital, where both of them were pronounced D-E-A-D. -E now, hear this. When this crime scene was processed, our information is that eight M16 spent shells along with 20 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. That incident we just told you about, it took place minutes to 8 a.m. Whilst the police were on this scene, further down the road on Darling Street, revenge was taken. Yes, the next event that took place, it was an act of reprisal. It took place on Darling Street, about 300 meters away from where the first incident took place. The police, like we said, were on the scene. The man that you are looking at on your screen, his name is Duane Fang. He's popularly known as Okipan Ai. He was 38 years old and he was a vendor. He lived at Darling Street, Savlamar, in the parish of Westmoreland. For those of you who buy CD on the road, you're supposed to know Okipan Ai. In the evenings, he sells CD and DVD right in front of Bromelia House and Beckford Plaza. Yes, that same man. He's the one. About 8.30. So it's about half an hour after the first incident. Okipanai, he was sitting on the front of a van near to his home when he was confronted by six men. These hoodlums, they were all armed with handguns. They approached Wokibanai and opened gunfire at him. They then made good their escape on foot in the area. The police who were nearby, they rushed to the scene. Wokibanai, he was taken to the Savlamar Hospital, where he was pronounced D-E-A-D. -E he received gunshot wounds to his head and his upper body. Now, when this crime scene was processed, our information is that 22 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. Let me pause for a minute. I know you don't like the stories, but we are giving you information. Last night, at least three persons texted me and they asked me how come I didn't put out the story. They were telling me that other YouTubers first me and put out the stories. We are not in any race to put out the information we put out. The information that we put out must be well researched. It must be well grounded. It must be solid. So, this is what we do. We get the information and we verify them, then bring it to you. So if you are here and you have been watching this video so far, if you have not yet done so, hit on the like button. We are heading on to Christmas and the hope is to give away $50,000 by Christmas. So we are hoping to reach 50,000 subscribers by Christmas. So if you have not yet done so, hit on the subscribe button. As also, hit on the notification bell. Then click on all so that as soon as we upload a new video, you will be notified. And remember, you might be one of the lucky winners in this giveaway. Now, in the final story for today, and it is said that this shooting is also a reprisal for one of the shootings that took place during the day. It took place at a place named Baptist Lane. Baptist Lane is in Savlamar in the parish of Westmoreland. It took place last night, Saturday, November 13, 2021, some minutes to 9 p.m. Our information is that a man, his name is O'Neill Reed. He was popularly known as Satan. He was 47 years old and Satan, he was a welder. He lived at Baptist Lane. We are told that Satan, he was at his house. He was sitting inside of his kitchen and he was eating some food. The kitchen window on this house, it was left opened by Satan. It is said that loud explosions were heard. When checks were made, Satan, 
he was found inside of the kitchen. He had what appeared to be gunshot wounds to his face, his left shoulder and his back. From all indications, the hoodlum are hoodlums. They walked up to Satan's window that was left open and opened gunfire at him inside of his kitchen. The police were called and Satan, he was rushed to the Savlamar Hospital where he was pronounced D-E-A-D. -E Our information is that when this crime scene was processed, three 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem, yes, the mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. <laughs>